two on deck. There's someone behind. Oh, someone in the roof. All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be going over the best Warzone settings for Warzone Season 5 Reloaded for AMD GPUs to maximize visibility and FPS. All right, so first up, we're going to optimize Windows to uh, do best for our game. So what we're going to do, we're going to search bar, we're going to search game mode. I'm going to open game mode settings. Now, once we're in here, we're going to make sure game mode is turned on. So it is sometimes a little bit different and from season to season whether game mode should be on or not. Who knows for right now i seem to find that game mode on is the better option next we're going to click on graphics inside graphics we're going to change default graphics settings and we're going to make sure that default gpu default high performance gpu is on our um graphics cards but for me it's my amd radeon 7900 xtx i have it on the windows decide it's the same thing it's deciding to use the 7900 xtx so make sure that's selected and you're not on your other graphics cards which essentially is your cpu graphics card uh, next, we've got the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that's on. I have that on. Um, that to reduce latency, improve performance. You have to restart your PC afterwards. You turn that on. Uh, variable refresh rate. When possible, get higher frame rate. Reduce screen tearing. We love that. We don't want screen tearing while playing Warzone. So make sure that's turned on. Optimized for, optimizations for window games. Reduce latency and use advanced version compatible by using flip presentation model. Make sure that's on too. It's on by default. Uh, hasn't been an issue. Hasn't been brought up. So it's absolutely fine. Leave that one on. And when you're in graphics as well, make sure you go to Call of Duty. Find that. Click on it and go options and make sure it's set to the highest performance. Again, we want to make sure don't let Windows Design not power saving highest performance on your GPU, which is the one you'll be used for gaming. Click save and you can get out of that one too. Right now you can close out of that and go into your file explorer. Then we're going to go into documents and then we're going to go down to Call of Duty into players and into options.cod.23. All right, now once that's open, we're going to go control F and we're going to type thread. All right, and here we are. Thread count for handling the job queue. This is your render work count. This is what we're going to use to uh, change our settings to make sure that um, it's best optimized for the CPU that you have. So as you can see on screen right now, are the best numbers to put in based against your CPU. So find your CPU on this list. Uh, and change the thread render work count for this list. So for me, it is going to be eight. I'm going to change that to eight. Press Control S to save it. And we're done with that. All right, also in here, we want to go to the Control F and we're going to type GPUU and hit enter. Now we're going to be looking for this GPU upload heaps enables optimizations when it's resizable bar supported. What this will do, it will disable resizable bar. Now there's been an issue with it. We want to make sure we turn that off. So we're going to turn this. We're going to type out true and type in false. And press Control S. All right, for the next part, we're going to go back into our players folder. We're going to open these random looking numbers here. Click on that. We're going to open gamer.profile.0.base. Make sure that's open. This is to reduce the latency for your sprint for mouse and keyboard and controller. And we're going to go down till we find controller advance. So in here, adjust the time at max the fiction before sprinting in milliseconds. Sprint assist delay gamepad at zero so whatever it is for you if this isn't zero make sure to put it at zero it is default i believe at 400 so make sure to change that to zero if you go down further you will find kbm advance adjust this this is the same thing for keyboard and mouse make sure to change that from whatever number it is if it's not zero put it at zero press Control s or file save and you can close out of that one right and the next thing we're going to do is delete our temporary files so we're going to go search and we're going to do type run i'm going to click on run and then down on the left, we're going to just click, type temp and hit enter. Right now, we're going to press select something, press control A to select it all and press delete. Uh, and we're going to do off current items and skip. Off current items, skip. And that is done. We can close out of that one. Next thing, we're going to do it again. We're going to go search. We're going to go run, hit enter. This time, we're going to type uh, percentage sign, temp percentage sign, hit enter. Same thing, control A, delete all. Wait for that to delete. Do for all current, do this for all current items, click skip. Right, and then once that's done, you can close out of that. Go back, search, and type run, hit enter, and we're going to type pre fetch. Press OK, press continue. And then we do the same thing, control A and delete everything in there as well. Do all of current items, skip. And we close out that one and we're done deleting our temporary files. All right, the next thing to do, we're going to get into a game. We're going to change our in-game settings to maximize your FPS and quality. Right now that we're in the game, we're going to go to our settings. 
We're going to go over and we're going to start with uh, graphic settings. Right now we're in here, we're going to use our display settings. We're going to go to display mode. Ideally, you want to screen choose a full screen exclusive. This gives you the most reduced latency. Uh, for me, I use full screen borderless. There's not too much difference and it uh, works absolutely fine for me. Never had a problem with it. Display monitor, make sure it is your current monitor using. Um, for me, that's my 240 hertz monitor. So I want to make sure that is my gaming monitor. Display adapter has got to be your, your GPU. So mine is the AMD 7900XX. Make sure that is selected. Uh, if your screen refresh rate and display resolution are locked, make sure it is on full screen exclusive. And then you can change it there. Make sure it's on whatever your highest refresh rate is. And your display resolution, make sure that is on uh, whatever your uh, monitor resolution as well. So mine's a 1440p, 240Hz monitor. And if you play on borderless, go back and it locks it. SP ratio, 16 by 9. Make sure that's on that. Uh, you can restart your shaders, preloading. This is always good to do from time to time. Just sort of helps the game optimize better by downloading the shaders again. Display gamma 2.2 brightness. This is a sort of personal preference based on your monitor. For me, brightness at 55 works perfect. Um, constrain mouse to game window. So this just makes it stay within the window. I don't need that. I've got more than one screen. I turn that off. Eco mode preset. We're going to hit custom VSync off. VSync off for menus and gameplay. Custom frame rate. I play on unlimited. I just like the maximum frames I can get. Yes, it probably does go higher than my refresh rate, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, menu render resolution. We turn that on to native. So no reduction. And it does reduces the 3D re screen resolution while the menus, no reduction. Pause game rendering off. Um, we want to turn that off. Focus mode. We also have that at zero. All right, over to quality. The graphic preset on custom. The render resolution should be 100. Upscaling sharpening, fidelity cast. I set this down to 85. Seems to be the sweet point for me. VRAM scale target. Now, this is one that can be a little bit different from time to time. I have this set to 50. I've heard it's better. I've done some testing. I find this at 50 is better. It reduces the amount of pressure on my GPU and it still has the ability to run the game absolutely fine. Variable refresh rate shading. Make sure that is turned on. This will give you more FPS. This is a big setting to make sure that's turned on. Texture resolution, now you can play around with this. <clears throat> if you've got a lower end GPU, you can turn this down to low or very low. This will reduce the amount of VRAM used on the game. For me, I have it at normal. It's a good balance between quality and graphics. Um, texture filter and strombic, put that on low. If the field off, detail quality level low. Particle resolution, very low. Bullet impacts I have on. It does take up some FPS, but I prefer it in game. It's a little more visually appealing. Persistent effects, make sure that's off. Shader quality low. On demand texture streaming. Now, this is something new and different in Warzone Season 5 Reloaded. This is always on. You cannot turn this off. I just have this on optimize. It is the default. Uh, optimize meaning download additional high quality texture data to enhance game experience. It sounds good to me. Let's have that on. Uh, local texture streaming quality, we have that on low. Shadow quality on normal. Um, you can play around with that if you want to turn it low, very low. It will give you a little more FPS. Uh, if you're lower in GPU, normal is fine for me. Screen space shadows off, ambient inclusion off, screen space reflections normal, static reflection quality on low. Tessellation we have off, volumetric quality low, deferred physics quality off, weather grid volumes off, water quality off. All right now over to the view tab. For me, I run 120FOV, ADS field of view is affected. Uh, make sure it's not affected, not independent for God's sakes. That is the best thing to use, affected. We have a field of view on wide, third person 90. We have vehicle field of view at wide as well. Now, these are some big ones. You want to make sure if you turn these off. All right, weapon motion blur. We don't want that on. Um, world motion blur, sorry, and weapon motion blur. Turn those off. Film grain all the way at zero. Make sure they're off. First person camera movement, at least 50% and third person 50% as well. Third camera ADS transition. Um, make sure that's on third person ADS. Spectator camera, game perspective. Um, or you can have helmet cam, game perspective, this obviously looks better. Inverted flashbang, this makes it black instead of white when a flashbang hits you. I prefer the black, doesn't blind me. Right now, in our audio settings, uh, this is you can play around with this if you know who Art, Art is War. Go over to his uh, his tune for his PC, it gives you more audio and footsteps in Warzone. So that's what this R tune here is. Uh, it seems to work best for the footsteps. Everyone uses it, they call it the audio cheese in the professional world. Go over to Art is War and, uh, and grab that audio tune. It works perfectly and it is great on uh, Call of Duty Warzone. An interface, we're going to have subtitles off. Don't want them on. Default subtitles, they're off anyway. Uh, at zero, main text size, default text chat, default color co customization. Now in here, this is how you make your game brighter inside the game. So your HUD color palette, we're going to have custom. Uh, we want to have me as, you know, you choose your specific preferred colors. Uh, color filter, this is the biggest thing. Color filter is going to be set to two. 
All right, we want to have a both uh, color filter target on both and world intensity and interface intensity at 100%. This will brighten up your game and uh, make all your colors pop and it'll make it perfect for uh, for playing in and more immersive. All right, back from color customization, we've got the HUD, HUD bounds. We're going to, you can change those. I have mine slightly smaller because I have things in my stream that I like to have above and below. So I have my HUD slightly lower. Um, you can change that as well. How we like mini map shape. Now, for God's sakes, whatever you do, put this on square. Square is a bigger space. And it is round. Make sure that's on. Minimap rotation we have on. Horizontal compass on. Crosshair static. Are you static? Hit marker values on. Damage base hit markers we have on as well. Uh, player names, full name. We want to see them. In game text chat we have on. Vehicle HUD prompts fade after 10 seconds. Yep, get that stuff out of there. Uh, squad health and stamina we have on. Telemetry custom. Um, FPS counter. So this is for you the top at the top there. If you can see it up there on the far left side of the screen, it's got FPS, latencies, packet loss. You can choose how you want your game to be to show. You got GPU time, GPU clock, etc. Play around with that. Right, and that's basically it for the in game settings. Next, we're going to move over to the AMD Radeon settings to choose some more customizations in there for frames and for uh, the color, which makes it pop more as well. Right now, we're in the AMD Radeon software. We're going to tune this to uh, to get the best FPS and quality out of our game. So we're going to go into gaming. Okay, and we're going to go into global gaming experience. Now in here, this will be the global experience, uh, global settings for the whole computer, right? So not just the game, you can change it. If you go into your games and select Call of Duty, you can change it just there if you want it just there. But for me, it's easy enough to just change it uh, for the whole global experience. So once again, we go back in the homepage into gaming, and we go into our global gaming experience. All right, from here, make sure you're on your correct GPU, GPU 1, not GPU 2. Uh, that is your main GPU, make sure it says it there. And just copy these settings. So for Radeon Super Resolution, we have off. Uh, Radeon Anti-Lag, we have enabled. Uh, Radeon Boost, we have disabled. Radeon Chill, disabled. Image Sharpening, we have on 80%. They say it does conflict with in-game, but I still have it on. It doesn't seem to make a difference to performance or anything like that. Radeon Enhanced Sync, we have off. Vertical re Refresh, vert wait for vertical refresh. Always off, no uh, sorry, off unless the application specifies. Frame rate target control disabled. Anti-aliasing, -ali use application settings, what we have selected. Anti-aliasing -ali method, we have it on multi-sampling. This will give you the best performance. Choose multi-sampling. Morphological anti-aliasing, disabled. Antistropic filtering, enabled at two times. Uh, texture filtering quality, we have it on standard. Uh, surface format optimization, we have enabled. Tessellation mode, AME, AMD optimized. OpenGL buffering disabled, 10 big pixel format disabled, and restart cache. You can perform a restart if you wish. All right from here, we're going to go to do the display tab up the top there. And make sure your display monitor is selected that you're, you're playing on. For me, as you can see, if I hover over it, it puts the red box around the screen. That's what we're going to be using, display one. All right, AMD FreeSync not supported. That's fine. Virtual super resolution disabled. GPU scaling disabled. Scaling mode, uh, perspective aspect ratio. Image scaling not supported. It's fine. Color depth we have that on eight BPC. Pixel format we have chosen RGB four by four by four. Pixel format of PC is standard. Okay, that seems to be with this full RGB. That's what we want. Get that color. Display color enhancement disabled. Right, and over on custom color. Now this will give you more color as well, more saturation and pop, make those colors sort of pop in the game as well. Custom color we have enabled. Color temperature we have enabled. Color temperature, we have that at 65,000. Okay, it's set that at 65,000. It seems to be nice, the perfect spot. Brightness we have at zero. Hue at zero, contrast at 100. And we have increased our saturation slightly to 115 to make the colors pop a little bit more. So 115 seems to be a sweet spot. Make sure you play around with these settings to see what best works for your monitor. Uh, color deficiency correction, we have that disabled as well. Alrighty, guys, that is everything for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified of new content uploads and live streams. Leave your comments down below and I'll try and get to them. Thank you very much for watching.